is Hurricane Ida, one of the most powerful storms to ever strike the U.S., has made landfall, but the worst could be yet to come. Residents across Louisiana and neighboring states are hunkering down. WGN's Brona Tumulty joins us now with details. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, those sheltering in place right now could be there for the next 72 hours. That's according to Louisiana's governor saying they're not even sure how long it might take first responders to get to people who need help when this mammoth storm finally passes. So look at this. Yes, we needed to evacuate because um, Category 4, depending on the wind, pushing the water in from both ends, it, it, it's probably going to be dangerous. Across Louisiana, people have been rushing to get out of harm's way, but now is the time to batten down the hatches because Ida has hit. As you know, it did make landfall as a very strong Category 4 hurricane here just a few hours ago, and we are expecting catastrophic impacts from this. The Category 4 hurricane blasted ashore Sunday as one of the most powerful storms to ever hit the U.S., ravaging the Port Fouchon area around noon with 150 mile per hour winds. If you're sheltering in place, Please make sure that you're in the most secure uh, place possible in your home, some interior space. Louisiana's governor speaking today saying folks who are hunkering down may be on their own for several days. Once the storm has passed, you need to be prepared to shelter in place for the first 72 hours. This is the window of time uh, that it may take in order to get first responders uh, to you depending upon conditions. He went on to describe some of the preparation measures that have been taken. You should know that the entirety of the Louisiana National Guard has been activated and currently more than 4,900 guardsmen are out in support of current operations. Uh, just on the search and rescue assets of the National Guard, they're staged across 14 parishes. They have 195 high water vehicles, 73 boats, and 34 helicopters ready, ready to support and assist the citizens of Louisiana. Generators are also in place. Search and rescue teams are standing by and the Red Cross has been activated. Meanwhile, President Biden speaking briefly during a visit to FEMA headquarters had this to say. And I've already signed an emergency declaration for both Louisiana as well as Mississippi. And I want to make sure that we're ready to surge all the response capacity, capability that we have to deal with whatever comes next. Now, all of this is actually happening on the exact same day. Hurricane Katrina ravaged Louisiana and Mississippi 16 years ago. Key improvements have obviously been made since then to the levee system, but it's likely we won't know the full extent of the damage for about 24 hours. Live in the newsroom, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.